Okay, let's do this. On the right side, you see the result of my script. And on the left side, you see the code itself. If you want a copy of the code, you'll find the link in the description below. If you want an explanation of how this code works, I'll go over that right now. So first, I will ask the player to guess a number between 1 and 10. I will also use I also need a random number, so I will import the random module from Python. And the random module has multiple functions for requesting random numbers. I will store the random number inside a variable, and I will request a random integer between 1 and 10. I will also use a variable to store the number that the player will guess, and I will use the guess variable and set it to 0 initially. I will also use a score variable to keep track of the score, and I will set it to 10, which is the maximum score for this game. Now I will start the game loop, and a game loop is a simple while loop. While the guess is not equal to the random number, so the guess at this point is 0, and the random number is a number between 1 and 10, which means the guess can never be equal to the random number at this point, so the game loop will always start. I will request a random number from the player, a guess. I'll, for this I use the input function, and the input function returns text, but I need the guess to be a number, so I use the int function to convert the text into a number. So whenever I compare the guess to a random number, I will also compare a number to a number. Now if the guess is equal to the random number, I print a congratulation message. And I also want to print a score. Now in Python, I can only add text to text. I cannot add text to a number or a number to text. So if I want to print the score inside a text, I have to convert the score number into text first. That's why I use a string function around the score. I also use a break right here, so the break breaks the while loop immediately. If I don't use a break, I will have to use an else statement for the other conditions, which means extra indentation. I like to keep my code clean and simple, so I use a break instead of an else statement. Now if the guess is lower than a random number, I will print feedback that the number should be higher. And the other way around. If the guess is higher than the random number, I will print feedback that the number should be lower. And finally, if the code is still running at this point, that means the guess was wrong. So I will subtract 1 from the score, and I use a little if statement to check if the score is above 0. This means that the score can never go below 0. And that's it. Now I can enjoy the game. I hope this video was useful to you and thank you for watching.